I think it makes sense uh, that we are uh, in the league together with Germany. We are active, that while they're fighting the war, they're also transitioning to different capabilities, using different So having air superiority is essential, I think, for Ukraine in the future to be able to deter uh, Russia uh, from uh, from trying this this again. And the, uh, having the, the capability uh, that we're starting on working on now with training of Ukrainian pilots on the F-16 would, of course, greatly add to the strength uh, of the Ukrainian Air Force in the future. I mean, President Zelensky, I think, called it a game changer, right? The F-16s. Well, the thing is uh, that it is, it is a very strong uh, weapon system, it's a very strong uh, capability, but it's not going to be available uh, anytime soon. Uh, and uh, President Zelensky, of course, knows that. It's something I discussed also with, uh, with my colleague. But it is a very important and significant step that we will start training Ukrainian pilots on the F-16s. We are now really into looking into all the logistic details, uh, and it's really a quite a, a complicated process that we're looking at. Uh, we have to look at uh, what 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 capabilities do, do they already have? How is their English language? Uh, what what group can we start with? On what level are they actually? So we'll have to find out how how it works. But uh, the sooner the better, because when when you start, you you know you get a better hang of this. Uh, and then from there you can, you can build upon that. So yes, uh, this summer is our ambition uh, and we'll see if that's realistic. Certainly master arm. It's a pickle button to drop a bomb. <laughs> uh, the training, well, that's a good question, what the training involves uh, exactly, um, because we don't know yet. And uh, as I said, it will, uh, it will comprise of uh, academic training, so uh, they need to go uh, in, uh, in school, I would say. Uh, it, it's going to be language training, it's going to be simulator training, where they learn how to deal with the different uh, subsystems in the airplane. Flying wise, well technically, I mean if you're a pilot, this is also just an airplane. But to fly a fighter jet uh, and to transition to an F-16, which for them would mean like different technology, different design concepts. Uh, one of the things that's different in uh, most Western airplanes is that we have, we call it so-called uh, hands on throttle and stick. And that means that both on the uh, throttle, which you use to accelerate, and on a stick to control the airplane, there's a lot of buttons that you use to operate all the avionics. And usually in Soviet equipment, that's uh, non-existent, or at least less uh, a part of the design. So we just need to work with them and learn, for instance, from a partner like Poland, uh, who also converted from the MiG-29 to the F-16, uh, and learn from their lessons uh, in that transition, like what it really takes.